Okay, let's start off the measurement unit with simple conversions. And I want to skip over the imperial units for a second. I want to go back and I want to look at metric units right down here. Metrics, yes, good old systems, international, and let's go to that. Uh, Metric unit conversions are probably the easiest. There's a beautiful little thing here. You can read all about the metric system and, and so on and so forth. I found this in a source. Uh, it's, it's really quite cool. But I want to go to this slide here, which I think is probably the most coolest slides. This is a conversion of units within Systems International. So I, I, I want to look at this. Here's all of the things in, uh, in SI units most of these you'll never use. Like I have never used hecto or deca or deci you know, or, or any of that. I have used giga, mega. I have used that, but it's not very, very popular. But I'm going to star the ones that are the most popular. Most popular is kilo. Centi is incredibly com uh, common and popular. And milli. When you start getting into micro, that's more biology. And if you start getting into nano, that's that's physics. Eh, well, let, let's let's keep it simple. So the one I want to look at is right here. Is I want to look at kilometer right here. There's kilometer. The important thing to realize is that's the factor right there. Yes, there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. Well, how does centimeter work? Well, if you look at centimeter here, and if you notice, this is the decimal place of tenths and hundredths. And that's why I've got hundredths written down here like this. So you realize when we get to centimeter, that's one one hundredth of a meter. When we get to millimeter, that's thousandth thousandth oh my goodness what a name that's a thousandth so this is one over a thousand so the factor that you have to remember here is that you're dealing with a factor of a thousand here a hundredth here and a thousandth here and that's what i want to look at first so let's go to not this yes this one here Check this out. This is the unit or dimensional analysis, unit analysis or dimensional analysis to convert. Yeah, I know you're probably saying, well, wait a second. Isn't it just a factor of 1,000? Isn't it a factor of 10? Aren't we bouncing the decimal back and forth and back and forth and back and forth? Yeah, truthfully, we are. That's exactly what we're doing. But I want to show you a really, really, really cool process. And the process is being able to convert with anything. So eventually this is going to filter over to our imperial system. It's going to filter into your chemistry, into your biology, and especially going to make your physics teacher really, really happy. So check this out. Here's what I want you to do. Whatever we need in terms of our conversion, whether it's SI, whether it's imperial, whether it's chemistry, whether it's whatever, if you use this system called dimensional analysis, you'll never get it wrong. OK, so t whatever you require here, take what's given and multiply it by the conversion. Huh? What does that mean? Real, really simple. Here is the problem. Consider the process of converting 75 millimeters into meters. Now, here's the thing. Here's what's given. That's what's given. So you're going to take your 75 millimeters and you want to convert this into meters. So in other words, you got to get rid of this millimeters. Now, the cool thing here is if it's on top, here's the rule. If it's on top, you, you want to cancel it out, you put it on the bottom. Just like that. Simple. Why? Because look at this. Look at fractions. Look at two-thirds multiplied by something. I want to get rid of the two. Put it on the bottom. Okay? Twos cancel out. How do you know? Watch this. 2 times 1 is 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 3 times 2. The 2's cancel. Boom. Same thing goes with units. So let me get rid of this garbage, and let me just show you what I mean here just using the units. Check this out. Now, here we go. This is 75 millimeters. Millimeters is on the bottom because that's what you want to get, get rid of. Now, what do you want? You want this into meters. So what you want is always on top. Now, Here's the conversion. Do you remember the conversion? How many millimeters make up a meter, right? A thousand. That's the factor. So you can put the thousand right down here. And check this out. This is the coolest part about this. Millimeters and millimeters cancel. 
So what you basically have is one meter is a thousand millimeters. You know, since this is on the bottom, you got to divide it. So 75 divided by a thousand. Now you can do the do bouncing decimals. One, two, three places. One, two, three places, giving you 0 0.075 five meters now it sounds like a long winded way of getting there but trust me when we get into some really heavy duty calculations which we will be this is an effective way of being able to do calculations so let's skip over this next one here and i want to go directly to this little bit of a worksheet okay i want to be able to do a couple of these questions to show you how these questions are done then you'll understand dimensional analysis, and then the next video will go over into proportional reasoning. Okay, here we go. Watch this. 15 kilometers into meters. Okay, so here's what you got. 15 kilometers, you're going to multiply it by whatever the conversion is. Now, remember, kilometers is on top here, right? So if we want to get rid of it, kilometers goes on the bottom. What do we need? We need meters. Meters will go on top. Then you ask yourself the question. Is it one meter makes a thousand kilometers? Well, that kind of sounds silly now, doesn't it? So what we'll do is we'll go, okay, we know that it's a thousand meters makes one kilometer. And check this out. This is the cool part. The kilometers and kilometers cancel. So you know that this is directly 15 times a thousand. 15 times a thousand is 15,000. So 15,000 meters make up 15 kilometers. See how it works? Check it out again. This will be really impressive. Look at this. We're going to go from millimeters into centimeters. So here's what's given. 0 0.35 millimeters. Okay. We're going to convert it. So of course, millimeters is on top here. Put it on the bottom because we know that's going to cancel out. Here's the centimeters. Now, we talked about meters into centimeters and meters into millimeters, but we didn't talk about millimeters to centimeters. So let's go back here to this thing for a second right here. The cool thing about this one is look how centimeters and millimeters are side by side. That is just a factor then of 10. See what I mean? Okay, so think about this. Let's go back to our nice little question that we were doing way down here. Okay, oops, that one. All right, so think about it for a second. It's a factor of 10. Now, you've got to use common sense here. Is it 10 centimeters make up one millimeter? Or is it 10 millimeters make up one centimeter? Well, one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So what are you going to do? The millimeters, again, cancel. And if you look at this, that means 0.35 is going to be divided by 10. So if you look at this, this ends up being point or 0. 0.0. .0 three five centimeters okay you are in fact dividing by 10 watch again we'll do this next one here we go eight five seven point eight meters we want to get rid of the meters so again it goes on the bottom what goes on top centimeters is what we want why because then the meters will cancel again how many centimeters make up a meter or is it how many meters make up a centimeter well, one meter, if you think about it, is 100 centimeters. So what you're going to do, by the, by the factor of 100, all you're going to do is move this decimal place two times. So this is 8, 5, 7, 8. There's one movement. And another movement means that there is a zero behind that. So you're multiplying by 100. Watch again. Okay? Here's 5,200 meters. 5,200 meters you want to make this into kilometers, okay? So obviously there's the conversion, the meters goes on the bottom, and you know that it's a thousand meters makes up one kilometer. So thousand means dividing it by a thousand, and you're going to get a movement of one, two, three. This is going to be 5.2 kilometers. The next video I'm going to show you is actually going to show you how to do this in terms of what we call the proportional method. That's coming up next.